Good morning, everybody. Um, today's lesson is going to be on organelles. Um, and the problem, or what we are trying to aim for today, is to be able to answer the question, what are organelles? Please look at the agenda and make sure you complete all of these things at home. Take a minute to watch this um, Amoeba Sisters video on organelles. It has a lot of information in it, um, but you can pause it and copy down and name 10 organelles. Please now write the date, topic, and problem into your science notebook. And then we will start the notes. So we already talked about the three main parts. Um, and if you remember, we said the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, the gel-like substance inside the cell membrane, and then the nucleus. So we're continuing on with some of these other organelles, these small, tiny little structures that are in the cytoplasm and have a specific role or job to do. The first one is powerful. It's the powerhouse. It's called the mitochondria. Think mighty mouse, okay? He's super duper strong. Um, this has a major, major job to release energy so that the cells can survive and they can use that energy. They are called the powerhouse of the cell because that's what they're cranking out. They're cranking out that energy. They're cranking out that ATP energy. The process that makes or releases this energy is called cellular respiration. I know you all have a cell phone and you have to charge it at night to get that power. So think of it like that, cellular respiration. This is what happens in the powerhouse. And I also think it looks a little bit like a bean. If you see, it has this inner membrane, okay? Um, and that helps it to actually increase its surface area and make it even more powerful. So it's cranking out that energy, cranking out that ATP. If you see this, um, under the microscope, okay, um, this is a very, very high-powered microscope because they're technically very, very small structures, but they do look like little beans, little kidney beans, okay? Next one we have, this is a big word, so we usually call it the ER, endoplasmic reticulum. This is a kind of like a little channel inside the cytoplasm, and what it does is it moves substances through the cell. So think transport. Things are transported through here. I always think the ER, you get transported by an, by an ambulance to the ER, okay? You're following the road. It's like a, a uh, super highway inside of the cell. Some of them have these little tiny ribosomes, okay? Um, that's called rough ER or rough endoplasmic reticulum. And then you have smooth that does not have ribosomes. These ribosomes we're going to talk about next. They're like little rhinestones on this belt of endoplasmic reticulum. Rhinestones, ribosomes to help you remember. Golgi bodies. Okay, this is like a little tiny, think of it like a factory. Packages and distributes material to all parts of the cell. It looks a little similar to that ER, but that ER will be outside of the nucleus. And these are kind of like little stacks almost of little like pancakes. Um, and that's the Golgi. Vacuoles or holes in the cytoplasm. This is for storage. Think a vacuum stores all that dirt and waste. Um, this is a place for yourself. It's like a little pocketbook for it to put its food, water, and waste inside the cell. Okay. So you'll see it's like a little hole or a vacuole. Lysosomes. Lysosomes digest or break down. I always think of Lysol garbage. Okay. Um, they actually break down old cell parts because cell parts don't live forever. Okay. Um, or they don't, they don't work forever. Remember the basic unit of life is a cell. So these aren't technically living, but they're helping the cell survive. Here's the ribosomes I wanted to talk about. Ribs, protein. So those little tiny, tiny structures, sometimes they're free floating in the sea of cytoplasm and other times they are on that endoplasmic reticulum like little rhinestones on a belt. Ribosomes have a major, major, major role. They need to make or synthesize, which is another word for make, protein. This is needed for our growth and repair of cells. So it's a very important job that ribosome has to do. Just remember, all these organelles work together inside the cytoplasm, um, and it's like a little factory. So the, the, they're making protein. The nucleus is in charge of all of these other organelles, um, and it's a cell is like a machine. All right. Please answer packet page 21, and then do your Google form. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.